Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kid Icarus Uprising. In the last episode we did Chapter 22, Scorched Feathers. And of course right after we die we're going straight after Hades. There's no downtime in the Kid Icarus universe. This time we'll be doing Chapter 23, Lord of the Underworld. And going into it, uh, we will be using the three sacred treasures, just so you know. So use a weapon that you want to use on the ground, not gonna say why. But yeah, we're using the Tiger Claws here pretty good in every aspect. There's not really a weakness here. And the powers we'll be using is Health Recovery, Super Armor, and Brief Invincibility, because to be honest, the boss of this chapter kind of scares me. Meter Shower, Mega Laser, and Crisis Recovery. A lot of defense, just because I feel like that's how I should be playing with this weapon, because it's actually one of the fastest weapons in the game. You'll be moving really fast, so evasion's a pretty big factor. So, for this, there's one intensity gate. It's the last intensity gate in the game of 8.0. Let's go in. Equip again! It's finally time for you to square off against Hades. Are you ready? I'm so ready. I carve loaded and everything. Great! Hades has overstepped his boundaries by exploiting and desecrating souls. He's disrupted the balance between the Earth, the Heavens, and the Underworld. He must be stopped. You must stop him. It's a tall order, but if anyone can do it, I have faith that you can. Leave it to me! In the name of the Heavens, the Earth, the Humans, and the souls bound for the afterlife! I will defeat Hades! Go now, Pit. With pleasure! Oh, I guess no one's saying anything, so I guess I can talk Jeez, Can't believe how I... That one just slipped me. So, yes, this is going straight for Hades, and I think this might actually be the same entrance we took in the last chapter to get to the Underworld. What? The Lord of the Underworld can't even afford a roof over his head? No, no, it's not like that. This is his realm, so he could be anywhere in this darkness, or everywhere. Then, what's the plan? Just stay alert, Pit. I can sense Hades' presence surrounding us. Uh, that's great intel. But do you think you could be a bit more specific? Just a little bit? Avoid these Zs here, because if they hit you, you will take damage. Just don't shoot and you should be able to dodge pretty easily. There's a ton of them, though. And they tend to move around the screen, because you're moving as well. And here's the last Z. Always found that part to be really intriguing. I just, I, I just realized, I have the, I have the words on the bottom. Can I, uh, here we go. See, there, there we go. I'm dumb. Pit, Hades. All right, so. With that, he'll just start throwing a lot of enemies at us. You just want to take them down. Just, well, you don't have to worry about taking them down. Just try not to get hit. Destroy the orns if you can. Sacred treasures. Even your darkness can hide from the light. Now isn't that just? Precious. No, that felt good. Not the three sacred treasures. What? So now we fight him himself, and he just throws out weapons. Whoa, we already took care of him. That was quick. You know what, Pity Pat? You're looking mighty tasty down the hatch! No, 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 no! Get out of there, Pit! Uh-oh. Where am I? He ate us. Like, okay. He ate, like, do 
Do enemies usually think of this strategy? No. Not really. Lady Paltana, can you hear me? Hello? I guess she can't hear me. Well, I'd better start wiping out bad guys. These guys are like grosser versions of underworld monsters. Ugh. Oh my. Don't tell me you're still alive, Lady Pat. Hades, where am I? Why in the belly of the beast, of course. Oh no! Oh yes. I'm gonna be sick. Me too. Well, there's more than one way to get rid of a bad chicken nugget. Maybe I should just expel you the old-fashioned way. No! Please don't do that! Can't stop now! No! Whew. This is more difficult than I expected. Oh, man. I'm not going out this way. That would be the opposite of a hero's death. So yeah, all the enemies we're dealing with- okay, they both shot at the same time. All the enemies we're dealing with in here are cellular versions of real enemies, and some are actually changed a bit stat-wise. Those mono eyes will actually do a ton of damage. Did I just hear- I thought I just heard a treasure chest open. Of course we have these! Where'd he go? We have tomatoes. I- I don't like their jumping thing. I can't hit them when they- okay, there's more. Good thing we're using claws, which have good melee and ranged attacks. Pretty much all around. The tiger claws is actually the most generic of all the claws, really. I really do just, like, think I'm hearing a bunch of chests opening. Go over here to the left, you'll be able to get a cyclone. Use it on all these mono eyes that are over here. Oh, I didn't throw it far enough. Luckily, the 8 Intensity Gate isn't that far in this level, so if I die, we'll be just fine. Although, of course, I would rather not. And behind the last Intensity Gate, just a chest with a weapon. Galblade, though, that's pretty cool. Haven't used that one. Okay, we have quite a few enemies in here. Ooh, wow! Okay, I want to play a little defensive here, because these are some strong enemies. And luckily, we have a pretty quick charging charge shot. Keep in mind that your dash attacks are actually pretty strong with this weapon. I mean, your dash attacks won't be. Mine are, because of the weapon I'm using. What's that? Does that spawn enemies? That spawns mono eyes. And I believe it's like a spread shot kind of deal, too. Nothing to the right. Okay, let's move on. Wait. Oh, wow. There's a mono eye. Ooh! Wow! Where did you come from? Handoras. Handoras and mono eyes are two of the most uh, enemies you'll be finding in here. Jeez, I didn't see them coming. Good thing we have food right here. Moving on. Here, use a bouncy bomb to deal with that mono eye. And then one to deal with the tomatoes. Easy. And we have auto, or happy trigger here, which is actually really quick with this weapon. And I just stood there, didn't I? here. Nope, nope, I'm staying out of the way of that. There we go. Luckily that last one hit him. I'm not sure if I'd be able to dodge it again. Pandora's. And here we have one of these things. I don't even know what it is. Conway uses brief invincibility to take it out. It's not even attacking me. There it goes. Please take it out. Thank you. So, of course, you can only destroy that with melee attacks. Which is why I used one of my brief invis- I still have three of them, wow. I didn't realize I had four uses of this. I'm gonna use a little health recovery here. You see, I move really fast with this weapon, so I can just dodge easily. My innards have so long to hear your battle cry. How could you forget the words? I didn't have time to rehearse. I've been busy. Only Lady Palutena were here to help me. She is so grossed out. Unfortunately for you, I have a stomach of steel. So that's why I can't communicate with Lady Palutena. And you're just lost without her to do all the thinking for you, aren't you, Pity? She doesn't do all the thinking. I have ideas, too. Then answer me this, little angel. Why exactly are you trying to defeat me? We are all responsible for maintaining a certain order in the universe. As Lord of the Underworld, 
You know this better than anyone. But your greed has thrown everything out of you. You've overstepped your bounds by exploiting and desecrating souls. And you've disrupted the balance between the Earth, the heavens, and the underworld. I'm impressed by all the big words you used. But I didn't ask for a sermon. Did you come up with that all by yourself? Or did you have some divine inspiration? Like I said, I have ideas too. Sometimes. Okay, so with that, I, I love this chapter mainly because it gives Pitt and Hades a chance to talk alone. It's the first time we've ever seen that dynamic alone like that, and I believe there's food up here. Oh! They dropped food, okay good. So, if you're a little low on HP, you can do that, but it spawns more enemies. Mmm. That's a bad combo. I think using the super armor actually gets them off of you here. There we go. Took care of that. Apparently going for that food was worse than it was for good. Oh. Ugh. Wow, a rare treasure fish. Dropping some beam claws. Maybe those will be pretty powerful. I just hate it when Komatos are in front of another enemy shielding it. And that enemy can attack you with ranged attacks. Hold on, let's dodge through this. There we go. Destroy these. And here's a grind rail. Let's go on it. Watch out for these balls here. Grind rails were like a gift from the gods. I'm hurt. Have you forgotten that your dear friend Hades is a god too? But why would you help me get to my destination? What's in it for you? Always the optimist, pity pat. Who's to say this grind rail goes anywhere at all? Uh-oh. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Wherever you go, I'm sure you'll be dead. So after riding that grind rail, immediately go back on it. So because there wasn't a zodiac chamber in the last chapter because they actually moved it onto here. Because there was actually a walking section here. And here we will get the Aquarius Blade which actually has a freezing modifier on it automatically, which is pretty good. I don't know if any other weapon has that. Maybe the Poseidon Cannon? Not sure, but it's pretty good. Don't jump over that time. That'll just drop you off there, which will do a ton of damage. You're good. You're as good as dead if you're on eight. I didn't even notice these Handoras come out of nowhere. Oh, I wrote it again. Okay, well, whoopsie daisy. Easy fix. Also, I really like this area, actually, even though it's, like, completely gross and everything. I like it. Can we just, like, walk off here? No. We have to go along the path. The guide arrow is being a little, uh, weird there. Oh! These things spawn enemies. Do not want that. Sadly, the tiger claws don't actually have that strong of melee attacks, despite the fact that they're claws. Most of their claws are specialized in melee. These are just kind of all around. Also, watch out while you're going here. Take out all these walls or else you'll bonk into them hard. You know, Pity, I'll miss you when you're gone. Oh, now you're making me feel bad. And when I feel bad, I get hungry. Oh, what is all this? Stop eating things. It's bad enough to eat souls. But souls are delicious. They're like bacon. They taste good on everything. But if you eat them, you completely remove them from existence. You can't move on or, or be reincarnated. Huh. I never really gave it much thought. Besides, what do you mean by reincarnation? No, being reborn as someone or something else. Which means a different body, different memories, and different experiences, yes? So isn't being reborn as something else the same as being removed from existence? I... I... Eating souls isn't right! That depends on your definition of right. All living things survive by eating other living things. So what? You're a god! You should be above all that! Gods are above living things, which doesn't necessarily mean we care about them. What? I can't believe you just said that. That's it! In the name of the living, I will destroy you! Oh, you're so boring. I really wish you'd leave. Unfortunately for you, there's only one way out. Oh no, 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 no! Kira. You've been privy to a side of me that no one else 
understand my insides. And now, you'll be privy to the inside of a privy, too. Toodle-loo. Okay, okay, fine. I give up. Please spare me, please. Obeying the call of nature is part of the cycle of life. Tell me, kid, why you hate life. Ugh, the puns. So, we actually have a really hard round here. I'm almost dead. Hopefully I don't end up getting not... Oh, that's bad. Okay, at least the Zick and Zax is out. Not even taking a chance with that. I believe a huge tank comes down now. Take care of that as soon as possible! Uh-oh. Come on, at least take it out before our brief invincibility wears off! We didn't. Okay, this is bad. We're so close. We're so close to the... Mm. Okay. Well, that sucks, but we didn't lose any loot, so that's good. I mean, we're at the end too, so it doesn't matter, really. But we have to do that entire section again, so that sucks. Alright, we're back over here. We still have to deal with a couple of these, but we're a little bit better off. We have HP, I have my Crisis Recovery. We should just be able to outrun that because we have Tiger Claws here. Oh, jeez, okay. Nope. We, oh, we would have been dead there. Come on! Jeez, that took long enough. That should be the last one, too. Okay, good. So now we go into something that looks a lot like a bowel. But it's not, actually, so don't worry. And I believe right after that we have Pandora's. Just don't get hit. Oh, it shot twice. And there's another one, too. We're going to take our time here. Because one charge shot actually takes them out, so that's good. Okay. Now we're at the end. What's that? Verity can't seem to mind their own business. Pardon me, if you will. I must go entertain my guests. Hello? If Verity's army is attacking, you're doing awfully quietly. At least I'm doing something, kid. You're such a slacker. Ugh. I really need to stop talking to myself. Wow, Pit's just going insane. So, with that, we have the boss of this chapter. One which most people consider the hardest boss in the game. Are you Hades' heart? Wait, come back here! I guess I'd better catch it. It's actually pretty cute. Especially when you compare it to his... owls. Using souls to create monsters was evil, but at least those souls have been using some of their life. Hades and the Underworld have taken this too far. They've stolen so many souls that they're disrupting the proper balance of things. Like what Verity says about humans disrupting the balance of nature, but it's worse than that, because Hades threatens the Earth and the heavens. He has to be stopped, and the only ones who can stop him are Lady Palatina and me. I guess I'm just talking to myself here. Again, it's just me and that heart. A little heart. So yeah, this is a very hard boss fight. The heart will split into two pieces. The one with the yellow glow will explode. And you're going to want to aim for the for this one. And whenever you hit it a lot, it actually like it has, it's laying mines. I didn't know it did that. Jeez, I'm getting destroyed here and that's going to hit me. Okay, I dodged it somehow. Here. Let's use some health recoveries. We have them, so we might as well use them. And as long as you keep your distance from the boss, it can't really do much to you. Yeah, except four dash charge shots, and this, with this weapon, doesn't quite work. Get away from me. Did I blow up this entire lane? Okay, no, you can stay to the side and you'll be safe. Here. Ugh. And the thing with the Tiger Claws is it has really low range, so it's not really made for this boss fight, really. I just think it's really useful for the rest of the chapter. But when you do get close, you can go to... I can't believe he stopped there, come on. And he laid a mine there, too. You can see because he stopped. He's stopping, so he's laying mines. There, we got him. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Okay, here. Can we... Mmm. 
It's just hard to get up to him. There, that hit him. Now he's on a rampage. You're going to want to dodge towards him whenever he does this. Just keep him in sight. Oh, there's another one. I did not see him there. What? Did it hit me? Okay. Oh, I did not realize he exploded there. Oh, and the mines are slowly going towards me too. And he's invincible there too. Jeez, I'm getting destroyed. Ooh, he exploded in this lane again. He should be close to dead at the very least. Like, come on now. You can't have much to go. There we go. Nice. Jeez, that was difficult. That's a very difficult boss. I never would have found you. I'm sure glad you did. It's good to see you, Pit. That wasn't very... Nice. That really hurt. But hey, at least I'm not dead! But you are weekend. Okay, a weekend. Uh, Galblade, I, whoa, this is actually really good. It has really good modifiers on it. Melee combo plus two is really good on a blade. Uh, Black Club, we have overall defense plus six. Ooh, I can't wait to fuse that baby. And we have Beam Claws that don't really have much of anything. Overall defense minus two, not that good. A lot of knockback defense, which is weird though. And the Aquarius Blade, which is, once again, not too good. The Backwards Dash Charge Shot, if that's its strongest attack, ought to do tons of damage, though. Because the Backwards Dash Charge Shot is actually the strongest of the Tiger Claws. And find the Aquarius Zodiac Chamber and take its treasure. Note that there's a challenge for doing this chapter on with, with a club on 5.0 or higher. So, I'm going to have to go back and do that. But, in the next episode... We're going to be doing chapter 24, The Three Trials. This is a very long chapter that I honestly can't wait to do it. So, see you all then, and goodbye.